in Europe. It's gonna be great. I'm just gonna enjoy my trip, hang out with MJ. Be like really pretty. And therefore I have value. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I'm messing with you. <laughs> I think she really likes me. That's really nice. It really reminds me of Wayne. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Far From Home is much bigger than Homecoming. How did Homecoming prepare you for the bigger challenges in Far From Home? I mean, it, every day on Homecoming was basically a completely new experience for me. You know, I, I had only made um, two pretty small movies up until then. So I took everything that I had learned and everything that I was feeling on Homecoming um, and and use that um, in Far From Home to try and, and, and tell a bigger story. Uh, how does the European setting affect the film and the characters as opposed to the very young John Hughes, you know, American high school vibe <laughs> of the first film? Yeah, I mean, I really thought that there were going to be more movies when I started doing research about American teenagers going on road trips through Europe, but there aren't, no. you know. Um, so we just sort of had to start carving out our own little path on this one. There are a lot of shocking twists and surprises in the film. Some of them might be considered risky. How, how do you think fans will react? I hope they like what we're doing. I mean, it's, uh, it's always kind of scary when you, when you uh, take chances like that, but that's what makes it fun. Some of the action scenes are very imaginative. Uh, can you talk about the process of filming you know, the, the action scenes? Was it, was it very challenging? Uh, yeah, it was, um, but you know, that was one of the that was one of the things that I wanted to do on this film, you know, it's the story is about uh, Peter going from being just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to being a superhero on a global scale and I felt like the action needed to feel like it matched that. So, you know, for me designing these much bigger action sequences uh, was a challenge but it was really fun. Like I can't overstate um, how much fun it is to blow things up. Is there much improvisation, you know, did you push the actors to improvise the comedic scene? Yeah, always. I mean, you know, you start with the script um, and you just use that as a, a little bit of a blueprint, but I have no problem um, with letting people go off script or throwing out lines or, you know, you're just always looking for what's the best the best moment in the scene as possible. Is there a favorite line, you know, that, that one of the actors improvised in the film? Uh, really love? That's improvised? Uh, I mean, Nick Fury has some great lines, but those were those were scripted. Um, I'm trying to think. I'd have to think about that. How will the film impact the MCU? How do you think it will impact? I mean, there's definitely a lot of places we could go uh, based on how this film ends. Um, so yeah, I, don't, I can't really talk about it without spoiling anything. Of course. Are you coming back for the third installment? I hope so. After the events of. In Endgame, was it harder this time to construct, you know, the story, to put everything into consideration? <laughs> it, it is kind of crazy. Like I was one of the people that knew all the things that happened in Endgame and Infinity War, like um, a long time ago. But there is this kind of daunting moment where you find out what they're actually planning on doing. Mm -hmm. And you know, there was an interview with the Russos where they said uh, Endgame was the first time they didn't have to think about the future of the MCU. And I was like, well, great, well, I do though. Like I have to clean up this mess that you guys are making. So um, I don't know, it, for me it just, it was like a fun challenge uh, and figuring out a way to do that in, in a surprising way uh, was, a, was a blast. Did it change, you know, the first draft, the first, uh, your first conception of the story? Did it change a lot, you know, when you learned about the events no, 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 because I, I, I knew what was going to happen in those films before we started uh, writing this one, so we were developing them in tandem. So it wasn't like it wasn't like we were halfway through writing the script and then they're like, oh, by the way, uh, Tony Stark's dead. So it's like, oh, oops, got to delete. Your friends are in trouble. What are you going to do about it? You don't want any part of this.